Welcome to the ultimate Solidity Smart Contract and Blockchain Developer Course JavaScript Edition. We recently did a version of this video in Python that has over 2 million views right now, making it the most watched smart contract tutorial on the planet. We've learned a ton from doing that first course, and if you love the Python language, definitely be sure to check that one out. We've taken all the learnings we've got from making that first course, wrapped it up, and put it into this JavaScript video for you. If you're looking to get started in Web3, blockchain, smart contracts, or any of these terms, this is the course for you. And it's for anybody and everybody, no matter your experience level in programming or in blockchain. Ideally, you know a little bit of JavaScript before starting this, but if you don't, no worries, we will help you along the way. And in case you do wanna learn a little bit of JavaScript before starting here, there are some fantastic courses on Free Code Camp to learn more, but you absolutely don't have to. And really any experience with any object-oriented programming language will work great. So if you're brand new to coding, or if you're brand new to blockchain, this is exactly where you should be. And if you already know a lot about blockchain or coding, this course will give you even more deep fundamentals on the space. So welcome to the edge of the rabbit hole. So for those of you who don't know, my name is Patrick Collins. I'm a smart contract engineer, developer advocate on the Chainlink protocol, and I live and breathe smart contracts. I also make YouTube videos on my own channel, Medium, Twitter threads, and more, teaching people about smart contracts, about coding, and about this new technology. I love helping developers learn, grow, and learn about this new advent that's blockchain and smart contracts. And I'll be taking you on your journey to becoming a blockchain expert and wizard of the smart contract developing world. And even if you don't want to become a developer, the first section, our blockchain basics, will give you a lot of fundamental knowledge about how blockchains and smart contracts even work. I am so excited for you to be here, and I hope you enjoy the journey. This is a data dump, passion, educational project of everything I've learned working in this space. And I am 100% certain that if you follow along, you'll come out the other side of this, armed with the knowledge to be a positive force in this incredible industry. Solidity and smart contract developers are massively in demand with an average salary of being around $145,000 a year. There is massive economic opportunity from learning this course. And this technology has the ability to revolutionize everything that we interact with. And you can be one of the pioneers ushering in this new age. In our courses, we already have a track record of giving people these educational needs and sending them into their careers in the blockchain and smart contract space. And we are going to give you all of the cutting edge tools and how to use them, including working with things like DeFi, NFTs, DAOs, ERC-20s, upgradable smart contracts, and more. We're gonna teach you the skills necessary to build DeFi applications like Aave, Synthetics, and Compound, billion dollar decentralized applications, or massively successful NFT projects like CryptoPunks or Bored Apes, DAOs like MakerDAO or DeveloperDAO, and any of the amazing things you've seen in the cryptocurrency world. In learning these skills, you will have all these economic opportunities at your fingertips and the ability to be a pioneer in completely changing the way we interact with each other in a fundamental way. Building decentralized smart contract applications is building a world that's more accountable, a world with unbreakable promises, a faster, more efficient, financially free world. A collaborative community combining the prowess of philosophy and technology into a new system. We'll learn more about the purpose and the value of smart contracts and decentralized applications in lesson one of this course and why they're so exciting. Finish this course and you'll be ready. So again, I wanna give a major thank you and a major kudos to you because you've taken the first step to enter this realm. So welcome to Web3, welcome to the blockchain, welcome to smart contracts, and I'll see you at the bottom of the rabbit hole. So let's jump into some best practices for this course so that you can learn most effectively and learn with this course as best you can. You do not wanna skip this part. It'll help you solve 80% of your issues. Now, while going through this course, be 100% certain to follow along with the GitHub repository associated with this course. We have a link in the description of this video for you to absolutely click on, follow along, have open in a tab as you're doing this because it has all the code samples, timestamps, a community to interact with, and more. It is going to be 
your Bible for watching this course. And yes, we have a discussions tab. This discussions tab is a place where you can ask questions, engage with other developers who are going through this course as well, get some help and et cetera. Be sure to say hello and meet other like-minded individuals like yourselves. Now, blockchain and smart contracts move really quickly and things are constantly being updated. So to make sure you're always up to date with the latest, when I open up some documentation, try to open up the documentation for yourself as well and maybe even have the code sample next to you. And as you're writing code, be sure to refer back to make sure that you are keeping pace and that you have the most up-to-date samples. Sometimes technology might change and there might be a way to do something a little bit better. So we have this file called chronological updates. Be sure that this is the first place to check when you run into an issue to see if maybe something was updated that you missed. It'll be chronologically ordered so it's easier to find updates. Basically, this is to say, always refer back to the GitHub repo first. And if you do find a mistake or something isn't working the way you expected, jump into the conversation, leave a discussion, leave an issue, ask questions here. Take breaks. I cannot tell you how many people tried rushing through our entire first course in one sitting and didn't retain as much information. Your brain remembers information much better if you take breaks. So every 25 minutes or half an hour, maybe take a five minute walk. And then every two hours, take a much longer break. And if you really wanna make sure something drills in, Try to go back and reflect on what you did from the lesson prior before continuing to the next lesson. And at the same time though, learn at your own speed. There is no right speed for this course. If it takes you a day, a week, a month, or even a year, it doesn't matter. Learn at the pace that's right for you. You can change the speed at which I talk using the little gear icon in the YouTube video. If I'm talking way too fast for you, you can slow me down. And at the same time, if I'm talking too slow, you can speed me up. You also don't even have to go in order. You can bounce around topic to topic. If you don't want to learn full stack, you can skip the full stack stuff. If you don't want to learn coding, well, you can skip the coding stuff. If you only want to go to the advanced stuff, go to the advanced stuff. You are highly encouraged to pause, come back and ask questions. The blockchain and smart contract world is incredibly collaborative. So be sure to use tools like the discussions tab of our GitHub repository, asking questions on Stack Overflow and Ethereum Stack Exchange and tagging relative technologies, making issues on different GitHub repositories that you're working with, jumping into Discords, Reddit, Twitter, and any other place that these communities and technologies are congregating. And the reason I'm putting so much emphasis on these community aspects is that becoming a Solidity and blockchain engineer is so much more than just the Solidity part. Being comfortable with all the tools in this space including the ones to get help and to give help are essential to being successful here. Networking is massive and it makes it a ton of fun. As you continue your journey and you get more advanced and you're looking for places to meet other developers, hackathons are one of the best places to connect with other engineers. The Chainlink hackathons, ETH Global hackathons, and Devfolio hackathons are three great hackathon suites to connect. And no matter where you are in your journey, they're great places to flex what you've learned. All right, so those are some of the best practices for this course. You're standing at the edge of the rabbit hole, looking down, peering into the world of Web3 and smart contracts and blockchain. If you're like me, once you jump in, you'll wanna keep going further. Let's begin our journey into the world of smart contracts. And it all starts with the blockchain basics. Now, I know you're excited to get coding, but before we jump in, we want to learn some of the fundamentals of blockchains and smart contracts. Understanding these ideologies and these basics are so important because it'll dictate how you architect your decentralized applications. Learning the basics of blockchain and Solidity is critical. But if you already know the basics of a blockchain, feel free to jump into lesson two. 